Hi, Shalom. I'm the brother you call from Sarasota, Florida. And um, before I start off, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this testimony. Um, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, taught me this truth. Peace, love, and blessings to the brothers and sisters that wholeheartedly believe. May you help by Shemel Shai continue to pour blessings upon you and your families. You know, especially in these times. I'm not a part of Great Millstone, but I follow, you know, the teachings that I was taught. You know what I'm saying? Since I came into the truth, I learned from the apostles and elders, so I give double honors, you know. Um, this is testimony, you know, to an event that happened to me last night, you know, and um, it's two weeks after the Passover, you know what I'm saying, this happened to me, and uh, I just want to say to Wadi Yahweh Bashim Al Shah for delivering me out of, from death, you know, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Al Shah for delivering me from death. You know, so um, I'm gonna just jump into it. You know, I'm gonna get this preset real quick, and then I'm gonna go into the testimony. This is First Peter four and seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and if it first begin at us, what shall be the end? So like it, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? And if the righteous shall, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? All right. In this testimony, man, I was scarcely saved. You know, like I was scarcely saved, like I almost didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Like the Book of Job tells us, you know, I, I was scared, I was saved by the skin of my teeth. You know. It was that close, man. But um, without further ado, I'm gonna jump into it. You know, um, this is that this is yesterday night. You know, I was listening to a brother's to the brother's video. You know, I'm cooking me some food. You know, what I'm saying I'm getting ready to wrap it up. You know, this is a Thursday night. I'm getting ready to wrap it up. You know, just pair me a little meal. You know, eat that and then you know lay down. You know, what I'm saying because it's late. It's already like 11.30, you know, 12 o'clock. And then uh, as I'm cooking my meal, you know, two Jakes knock on my front door, you know. And one Jake, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Jake, the Jake like he was well off, you know, the Jake, you know, driving a nice car, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, jewels in his mouth, you know. The Jake was well off, you know, and... um. There was another Jake with him, you know what I'm saying? And they knocked on my door. They was like, uh, have you seen such and such? You know? And I'm not going to say their names, the such and such, but such and such was my brother, you know what I'm saying? My worldly brother, you know? And I was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're talking about. And because I really didn't know what was going on. And I just found it weird that, you know, two men, you know, came knocking on my door asking for my brother that doesn't even live here. You know, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I know what's going on. He was like, uh, you know, he was like, um, yeah, man, we just find it weird that we got the address to your house. You know what I'm saying? You know, we just, got, we just find it weird that we got the address to your house. You know, but I was lying for my brother. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I was lying for him. You know, I kept telling him, like, nah, bro, I don't know. Who you talking about? Even though, you know, they had the exact, they had his exact name, first, middle, and last, you know, in in the address. You know, I, I continued to lie for my brother. You know what I'm saying? And um, I stepped outside to talk to these Jakes. You know what I'm saying? You know, and eventually, eventually led to me getting in the car with those Jakes. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I got in the car. You know, it was a Jake, uh, 
it was a Jake in the back seat with an assault rifle pointed at me, you know. And uh, my heart instantly dropped. My heart instantly dropped. And all I can say is, man, don't, how about you, man? I was shy. You know, please deliver me in my mind. Please deliver me, you know. And um, they was trying to ask me to, you know, to uh, direct them, you know, to where he was, you know. And uh, I didn't tell them where he was. <clears throat> I didn't tell them where he was, you know. I didn't tell them, you know what I'm saying, because I really didn't know, you know what I'm saying. I didn't know. So there's nothing I can tell them, you know. And he was like, man, is you know, we're not going to be doing all this for something petty. Like, uh, you know, he was like, man, we want our money. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, um, you know, I was like, man, you know, they kept thinking I was him. You know what I'm saying? They kept thinking I was him. Really, they really thought I was him, you know. You know what I'm saying? They're like, they kept thinking I was him and saying we just want our money. You know, we sent, you know, a lot of money to your bank account. I'm not going to tell you the exact amount, but it was a lot of money that those Jakes sent to his bank account, you know. But, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they threatened me, you know, the guy, like, tell us, you know, t you know, basically, you know, uh, um, yeah threatening me, you know what I'm saying, trying to get me to call for something I really don't know the answer to because, you know, when you come to this truth, you know, you separate from family members and stuff like that for reasons like this, you know what I'm saying, for you brothers and sisters watching, this is exactly why you keep your distance away from worldly family members, man, you know, shit like this, and I, and I did, you know, this is had, this had nothing to do with me, I wasn't around my brother, and I had no idea what was going on. You know, but, um, you know, uh, and I continue to say, no, nah, I don't know who he is. And eventually the Jake, you know, got me to give up my phone, you know, they got me to give up my phone and, um, I gave my phone up and they began to go through my phone, you know what I'm saying? Go through my phone, go through my pictures, go through my contacts. And they eventually seen that I did have him in there as one of my contacts and they, they got very really frustrated because they like, why are you lying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that that just that just uh, worsened the situation. You know what I'm saying? And um it worsened the situation. Um you know what I'm saying? Now they calling them they calling each other back and forth. We need our, you know, we need our shit. We need our shit. You know what I'm saying? If you don't if we don't get our shit, you know, I'm going to do something to him, you know. They were, they were going to do something to me, and they didn't get what they were looking for, you know what I'm saying. And, um, you know, so they uh, took me uh, an hour and 30 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes out of the city of that I was in, which is Sarasota, you know. So I ended up way somewhere else, you know, and, um, and uh, man. you know the Jake was like, um, "Fuck that shit," you know what I'm saying? The nigga can get it back in blood, you know. Like I'm finna clap him in the back seat, and clap means you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna get rid of him, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, man. You know, um, so they end up taking me somewhere, you know, secluded, ducked off, you know, but the Jake, uh, you know, Jake in the passenger seat, he was like, nah, man, nah, don't do it. You know, he was like, don't do it, you know, and he had, he was asking me, you know, asking me what I do, you know, he asked me, do I do anything, you know, that, that involves money and stuff like that. I was like, nah, man, I just, you know, I, I read and I teach the Bible, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they didn't believe me, you know, but to the one Jake, uh, you know, that had my phone, he was going through my stuff. He went, you know, and he, um, 
went to YouTube and seen my YouTube channel, you know, and he clicked on one of the shorts because, you know, now YouTube have shorts, you know, they have shorts that you can watch, you know, and it's one of the shorts that uh, if you go to my channel, you will see it. It should be the first one, you know, and um, it was me and the brother closing out on camp. And we, we said, uh, you know, we kept saying, call law. You know, we ended the camp. We said, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And he kept playing it over and over and over and over again. You know, he kept playing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And he asked me, he said, what are those names you saying? And I said, it's the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know, it's the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know, and um, I told him, I said, we're the Israelites. You know, and he was like, uh, so you do stuff for church? And I was like, no. You know, it's it, it like, basically, Jake thought I was doing stuff for church. But, you know, he said, you know, hey, man, let's leave him alone. This don't have anything to do with him, you know. This doesn't have anything to do with him. Like, all he 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 really does is read the Bible and stuff. You know, they went through my photos. I wasn't conformed to the image of this world. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the Jake, you know, he, uh, when they took me to, he was like, nah, man, I'm not going to let you shoot him. You know, I'm not going well, to let you do that to him. You know, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. Because the one Jake was asking for his shit. He was like, hey, man, give me, hand me the strap. You know, and um, <sighs> two Jakes, you know, they went, they took the two Jakes, the one in the back seat with me and the other one in the front, you know, the one that's driving, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't want me to slide. But the one Jake that went through my phone and seen my YouTube channel, you know, he wanted to let me go, you know, and um, eventually he talked him down, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, hey, man, you know, um, you never seen us, we never seen you, you know? Yeah, they, they, um, this shit is crazy, man. They uh, dropped me off, you know, and then they left, you know? They left. You know what I'm saying? But the only reason I was saved is because the Jake and the passenger see see my YouTube channel. That's it, man. If it wasn't the works, you know, if it wasn't for the grace of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man, I wouldn't be here doing this testimony today. You know, and this had nothing to do with me, you know. And um, this is two weeks after the Passover, man. And uh, I just want to tell you, brothers and sisters, man, fear the Lord. Examine yourself, you know. Examine yourself and, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Lord willing, this edifies you and moves you with fear. You know, the Lord is serious, you know. If the Lord wanted me to, if the Lord wanted to take me out last night, I would have been taken out, man. I'm going to get this precept right here. This is, uh, this is Deuteronomy. You know what I'm saying? Chapter 32 and verse 39. And this is not a dream. This is real life. This happened in real life, man. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. See, now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me, I kill and not make alive, I wound and not heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So if the Lord had it for me to be destroyed, I would have been through, you know? I would have been finished, man. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 45. And verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, you know. So the Lord, the Lord does these things, man. You know, the Lord does these things. This is the book of, uh, 
And that was the testimony, you know, I'm just finna get a couple precepts. And Lord willing, you know, you be edified. And scared the shit out of me, man. A one four four call out y'all by some outside. You know. This is uh second Ezra chapter nine and verse seven, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. And that's how, you know, I was delivered, you know, because of Jake seeing my YouTube channel, man. And he kept asking me, What is the name you keep saying? What is the name you keep saying? And in my mind, I say, yeah. And I told him, I say, the Heavenly Father's name and His Son's name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, I kept saying it in my mind, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, please deliver me. You know? And then, the Lord delivered me, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, delivered me. You know? And, um... That's pretty much it, man. Um, the Lord is definitely increasing my faith, increasing my faith, and my fear in the Lord. You know that He was with me, and that He delivered me from death. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we are all going to be faced, and we are all going to be put in these type of situations, especially in a time of Jacob's trouble, man. You know, so Lord willing, this was edifying. And I'm going to close out, you know, by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, And once again, double honor to the apostle, elders of great millstone, taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the brothers and persistence that wholeheartedly believe, man. You know, the Lord is no joke. The Lord will really take you out, man, that quick, you know, in the blink of an eye, man. The Lord said there is none that can, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So once the Lord got you, he got you, you know. It was by the mercies of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I'm able to talk to you brothers and sisters today. Fear the Lord, examine yourself, and, and have faith, man. The main thing is fear Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Fear Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And Tawadi Yahweh Bashim Shah for delivering me from death, you know. So with that, a hey, Shalom.